uh, actually we discussed the components which are like the sender receiver um, and the rest of like the channel and and that whole process of communication today i have uploaded a document in your class work which is lecture two slides so let me share the screen with you so that you can have a look at the document that i have shared with you so this is the document it it's like in lecture handouts these are the barriers to communication and as we discussed in the previous lecture that actually in this process of communication there were like there were components and the components were the sender and the receiver i mean like the people and the text the channel so this is not a smooth process like with the people there can be problems there uh, can be problems with the text there can be problem with the language and the channel whatever uh, the components are associated with this this process they can have some problems and actually those problems create barriers within this communication or within this process of communication so if people who belong to different societies or they speak different languages so see um this channel is different how they would communicate there would be some barrier there would be a hindrance to it so uh, today i'm going to discuss those barriers that within the process there are some barriers and then after that we will be discussing that how can we cope with those barriers and how we remove those barriers so again we will have another lecture on that um, what is a barrier actually uh it is like uh, in the introduction if you if i'm sharing the screen with you and if you can see the document in the introduction it says that communication is one of our basic needs it is the life blood of uh, communication is the life blood theek hai uh, if there is no communication there is no life at all there is no person there is no per uh, personal role there is no society if we have have no communication we would be more like animals right because when when the if we are humans it is because of this communication so communication is one of our basic needs we we require to communicate with many people for personal and professional purposes uh, but personal and pro, uh, professional purposes uh, because um, uh, we do talk to people like i'm teaching to you people so it's a pro, uh, professional purpose personal uh, purposes ke liye when we talk to our family when we talk to people around us theek hai so that is um, personal uh, purpose but while communicating we may face many hurdles or problems theek hai we can face so many hurdles and so many problems because as i said in uh, that in the previous lecture we discussed those process and within that uh, that process there can be so many uh, problems that are associated with one or the other component so if we combine them we face so many hurdles so sometimes the message is not passed properly to get uh, uh, or gets lost there are chances of misunderstanding between the sender or the receiver so this can be a problem sometimes language used in the communication is not understood properly because people may belong to different cultures and they may uh, have different uh, we can say languages the result in the, uh, this results into communication breakdown or communication failure there are many reasons behind the problems in communication process let's study the communication barriers in detail so you see a definition of the barrier uh, now this was just the background or introduction that why why this barrier or what is this barrier so we can have so many problems within the process of communication and those problems are actually the barriers to this process of communication so any obstacle or problem in the process of communication which hinders or obstructs the process of communication is called a barrier so anything that is um, an obstacle or that is the problem within the process of communication is actually a barrier theek hai barriers of uh, are part of uh, process of communication whenever we are communicating 
communicating, we encode and decode. As we discussed in the process that there is a process of encoding and decoding. So people who encode and decode, they may have some problems. We, we use various channels for passing messages at any level or at any movement, uh, moment or uh, or stage there can be problems in communication process sometimes the sender may not use proper language that the receiver will understand so receiver may not be able to decode properly there can be a lot of noise in the surrounding which can disturb us it really happens that barriers do not arise in the communication process so it really happens right it is not the case that that uh, communication will uh, will go smoothly there can be so many problems can noise can be a problem uh, the uh, the the offices can be there can be a problem in the office there can be a problem associated with the person a problem associated with the text the channel and so many things so it is not but if we try we can make it smoother many times barriers arise in the minds of the sender and receiver the intended messages are not sent to the receiver so it can be mental as well Today, it's it's actually, I was discussing or uh, taking the definition from this stuff that I have uploaded, but I actually want to discuss the barriers of communications, which are mainly related to the minds of the sender and the receiver, because the rest of them are so easy. You can have a look at this stuff and you can learn it, that there are physical barriers, there are, are uh, uh, related to language, relate some psychological barriers or sakte, socio cultural barriers or sakte, because we they belong to different cultures. So cultures ke depend karte ke what type of values we have, um, and there are uh, like physical barriers, uh, noise or sakte, traffic noise or time and distance or uh, defects in communication system or sakte, wrong selection of medium or sakte. And what is the like linguistic B barriers or something? Can our languages do him more change? So you can read all those types of barriers from this particular document that I have uploaded. But let me talk today that what are the barriers that are actually associated to the minds or uh, the people, or especially the sender and the receiver who are the participants of the process of communication. So here I have talked that there are many reasons um, that there can be um, uh, the, the many times barriers arise in the minds of the sender and the receiver. The intended message are not sent to the receiver. Okay? So I am uh, going to discuss the barriers that are actually related to. So Not this one. Actually related to the mind of the people. Where did it go? Ma'am, you can also use that. Wo jo Z wala hota hai, mujhe uspe nahi aati. Uspe mujhe lagta hai typing nahi hoti. Uspe typing nahi hoti ki hoti hai. Check kar le, ma'am. Ho sakta hai. But uspe typing nahi hoti. Wo hum calculus ke sar karate. Uspe nahi hoti typing. Mujhe nahi aati wo saara jo printer wala. Print वाला होता है या वो जो marker होता है और ना मेरा मुझे ये laptop की चीजें मुझे ज़्यादा समझ नहीं आती I'm not an engineer so I don't know किधर गया ये इस तरह होते हैं uh, 
I'm sorry if I'm taking the time, but I'm, I have to. Have Google Jamboard have uh, typing option also? क्या है? जो Google का Jamboard है उसमें typing भी हो सकती है और marker type भी use हो सकता है. Google Jamboard. वो मुझे बताएं. मुझे बताएं कौन सा वाला है? Google Jamboard. अच्छा. चलो. ऐसे लिखते हैं गूगल जे इज इट दिस दिस वन यस मैम ये बोर्ड है इधर प्लस के ऑप्शन पे आप क्लिक करेंगे तो हो जाएगा किधर है ये डाउन राइट कॉर्नर पे ये वाला यस मैम ओके सेकंड लास्ट ऑप्शन में टाइप वाला सेकंड लास्ट ऑप्शन ये वाला ओ यस थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच Okay, so I'm I'm discussing um, um, the barriers to communication, and in the barriers to communication, as I said, that uh, I'll be discussing only those barriers which are related to the mind of the people, especially the sender and the receiver, because uh, you know, like you can cope up with all those barriers that are related to something physical. Um, I mean, like if there is a noise, you can make the people uh, keep them quiet. If there is any other thing that is related to something um, like the office or any other rules and regulation, you can cope with those things easily. But actually, changing the minds of the people is not that easy. Like you have to take time, you have to invest your time on those people. just to change their mind so actually those barriers matter a lot those barriers matter a lot because i have seen people in in departments and organizations when they talk sometimes they start fighting why because they may have different things in their minds or maybe uh, it depends on their background as well or even like for years they do not come to meetings when one person is sitting the other do not come uh, does not come why because they have differences in their perception or what they receive is different from the other person right so the, their perceptions are different uh, their mental capability is different the filter is different actually so we have different mental filters jo जो डिपेंड करता है ठीक है तो एक चीज पे फॉर एग्जांपल इफ देयर इज एन आइडिया एंड इफ आई वांट टू डिस्कस दिस दैट आइडिया इन अ कम्युनिटी और एक और बंदा है जो उस आइडिया को फॉलो नहीं करता एंड ही वुड बी और शी वुड बी हैविंग सो मेनी क्वेश्चंस सो अनटिल एंड अनलेस आई क्लेरिफाई दोस क्वेश्चंस आई कैन नॉट मेक देम ऑन द सेम बोर्ड सो इफ आई वांट टू टेक द पर्सन ऑन बोर्ड आई हैव to clarify the things in his or her mind so actually i have to clarify the perception that he or she is taking with himself or herself in their minds theek hai to communication mein jo sabse bada hindrance hai aur jo jo 
the barriers that matter uh, are actually the, the barriers which are associated with the mind of the sender and the receiver. So we say that communication is the exchange of ideas, opinions, or information through written or spoken words. Or we can say symbols or actions. Okay. Um, now, if we communicate effectively those ideas and opinions, okay, it's like it is having a very price quality. It's like we are considered as credible people or uh, we are having credibility, okay, because of the fact that uh, I can exchange my idea, I can exchange my information or opinion without any uh, interruption. So this is actually like you know the the way how to interact with people. You know that there are some barriers that they can be arise. Okay, it's actually for effective communication. You have to know these barriers. You have to know the people. Okay, but we can also say that people in the world are not alike. They are not similar. There are different is they can uh, have so many problems in their receiving, their encoding and decoding. So if I send a message and I encode it in one way and the other person decode it in the other way because languages can be different or maybe the choice of the words may be different. Okay? So those encoding and decoding processes also takes time. So and there are uh, other hurdles as well. Okay? But as I said, okay, the problems which are actually associated with the minds of the people are mainly three, and they are convention of meaning, convention of meaning, uh, differences in perception of reality, मैम इसको यहाँ से ड्रैग कर लें। ओके, सो इट्स कन्वेंशन ऑफ मीनिंग, डिफरेंसेस इन परसेप्शन ऑफ रियलिटी एंड we have the third one, which is values, attitudes, attitudes and opinions. Okay, these are uh, the three things that are the the barriers to effective business communication when it comes to the people or when it comes to the uh, the we can say the encoder and the decoder of the process now you know what is meaning like words can carry uh, so many types of meanings but there are two actually if I'm having a word, it can have two types of meanings. And those two types of meanings are, number one is connotative and denotative meaning. This connotation and denotation is actually, when I use a word like home, and you just put this word on Google, Google this word home, okay? Or say house, okay? Both of them are the dwelling, or living places. Okay, this is actually the denotative meaning of these words home or house. 
So it's the dwelling or the living place. When we Google it or when we search it in the dictionary, we will see it. But the connotative meanings of these words are safety, especially home, not house. Uh, safety, love, affection, like this. Actually, we associate this safety, love, and affection with the home. So this is the connotative meaning, or we can also call it as associative meaning. These are the associative meanings of these words. Though the word doesn't show any, um, we can say, any clue of the affection or love or safety, but we associate with the home. Okay, because uh, we know that there is safety, there is love, there is affection with, that is associated with this word. Be, the, the structure of this word doesn't show any love or affection or safety, but it is actually the meanings are associated with this word by the people. So sometimes the culture associates the meanings of uh, or uh, the with the words. Sometimes it is the time that associate meanings with the words. Sometimes it is the people who associate meanings with the words. So these meanings are actually the associative meaning of the words. Okay, you might have heard some of the words like boyfriend and girlfriend. I know these words are. Uh, these words are not good in, in our society. When we listen to or when we hear these words, they are actually not good. They aren't considered good uh, in our society. But when you Google it, the literal meaning of the girlfriend and the boyfriends, uh, uh, they are not that much negative, right? So it is the denotative or the dictionary meaning of these words. So the dictionary or the denotative meaning of these words might be a very positive one. It can be a negative one as well, depending on the situation. But you see, um, when you Google this boyfriend, so it's it's not a, a very, uh, we can say, it's a common word. Uh, and it depends on the culture as well that in, in different other countries, you can see this word is a very common one. But if we try to uh, realize it in our own culture, it is a very negative one because we associate a negative meaning to it, right? So these are the connotative and denotative meanings. Uh, trying to discuss the first one, which is the convention of meaning. Actually, in this convention of meaning, uh, convention says like the tradition. Tradition, or like we can say, the way or uh, the process, how we use these meanings, how we uh, have a way of using these meanings or perceiving these meanings or the tradition of these meanings. Okay, so how we take Take up, uh, uh, we take a word or how we perceive the meaning of those words, whether we take it uh, as a negative connotation or a very positive connotation. So connotation or connotative meanings are the associative meanings. How, what type of association we do with it, whether it's a negative uh, association or whether it's a very positive association. Okay, so the negative association can also be called as pejorative. Or the positive one is called melerative. Melerative or pejorative. Uh, just know these words that in, in connotative or denotative meanings, the connotation can be negative or it can be positive. So when we have a negative connotation, it's the pejorative meaning. Or when we have a positive connotation, it's the melerative meaning. So we can have pejorative or melerative connotation depending on the situation. So see if a person is uh, from a different culture and they come and work for one single organization. Uh, see, if we have in university, we have people from different cultures. We have people from different countries. Okay? So when they come together and when they uh, just work for one single goal, there can be hindrances because their attitude towards different words is, is, uh, is, uh, is different. They may have a negative connotation or they may have a positive connotation. So depending on their situation, depending on their culture, they can take uh, it differently. 
so those things can bring hindrances or blockages in the process of communication and then people start hating each other why because they have different perceptions and they have different uh, meanings of the words they give different meanings to the words so this convention of meaning can create a a uh, blockage or hindrance in the process of communication so i hope it is clear this convention of meaning is clear ya main phir bas bol rahi hu bol rahi hu aap mujhe nahi sun rahe clear hai main sun rahi hu sun rahe hai okay sun rahi hu sahi ha so uh, this was uh, the connotation and denotation ki uh, connotative meanings are So, uh, जो आसान अल्फाज में हम कह सकते हैं कि डेनोटेशन इज द डिक्शनरी मीनिंग और इट इज द डिक्शनरी डेफिनेशन ऑफ अ वर्ड वी कैन आल्सो से दैट इट कैन बी जी जी मैम ये पेजरेटिव और लास्ट वाला थोड़ा एक बार फिर समझा रहे हैं हां इसका मतलब ये है कि जैसे um, चलिए मैं आपको बताती हूं uh, ये पेजोरेटिव और मिलेरेटिव जो है ये दोनों कनेटेटिव मीनिंग के टाइप्स है कनेटेटिव आर दो मीनिंग वेन वी एसोसिएट अ मीनिंग टू द वर्ल्ड तो वो जो एसोसिएशन है इट कैन बी नेगेटिव और इट कैन बी पॉजिटिव सो इफ इट इज नेगेटिव इट्स पेजोरेटिव इफ इट इज पॉजिटिव इट्स मिलेरेटिव ठीक है ये मेलोरेशन जो है आजकल बहुत यूज होता है मेलोरेशन हम ऑप्टोमिज्म को बोलते हैं बड़ा ऑप्टोमेस्टिक है ही इज अ वेरी मेलेरेटिव पर्सन it means that he or she thinks very positively at any time so they are very optimistic or aajkal optimism ke liye melarity word bahut use hota hai to aap log ko habit nahi hai you don't have the habit of reading newspapers to aap log ko alfaz ka nahi pata you can try to start reading newspapers it can help you a lot it will help you a lot right so negative and positive how those meanings ab ek uh, jo ek uh, Uh, मैं हर वक्त अपने स्टूडेंट्स को एक लफ्स की एग्जांपल देती हूँ और वो है गैंगस्टर लाइक द मीनिंग्स आई कैन गेट अ वेरी पॉजिटिव और अ वेरी नेगेटिव कनोटेशन विद द टाइम विद द पीपल सो गैंगस्टर इज वन वर्ड दैट हैज टेकन अ वेरी नेगेटिव कनोटेशन विद द टाइम गैंगस्टर वॉज इट्स एक्चुअली अ वर्ड दैट वॉज क्वाइंड In 1939, okay? In 1939, okay? it was actually the depression era, okay? And in this de- depression era, people were there was a great economic downturn, and people started migrating from one. place to another place in order to have trade relations or to earn their living theek hai to usi wajah se those those groups were called as gangsters so it was a very positive connotation now after that uh, this this uh, word has got a very negative connotation now people who are in groups but they uh, are like they accumulate money or wealth through robbery or they are like involved in some criminal activities they are called gangsters okay to unko gangsters bolte hain and we associate a very uh, particular dress code to the gangsters as well okay to jo ye jo iska connotation ab bhi hua hai the the pejorative connotation that has uh, the gang- gangster word has got it is actually with the time and then people started uh, nowadays if we listen or just hear this word gangster we have one thing in mind that this this the person is a criminal or uh, uh, involved in the criminal activities or illegal activities theek hai to ye hamare paas alfaz hote hain so depending on the uh, thing we can also say that in a more simple way if we try to discuss the convention of the meaning we say that the connotation and denotation can be different denotation when you name or when you uh, give a name to the object the people or the events lekin jab aap usko specific name dete hain that is actually called as connotation to so denotation kya hoga for example if you say 
कार और डेस्क और बुक और हाउस ठीक है तो जब आप ये डेनोटेशन देते हैं और कनोटेशन में जब आप कहते हैं कि कार लेकिन आप उसको एक पर्टिकुलर नेम देते हैं जैसे बी एम डब्ल्यू और बायोलॉजी बुक और वी कैन आल्सो से मेंटल मेंटल हाउस ठीक है सो दिस इज द कैनोटेशन तो जब वेन एवर देर इज यूज ऑफ डेनोटेशन यूजिंग कैनोटेशन वुड बी वुड मेक इट डिस्टर्बेंस और इट वुड बी अ प्रॉब्लम if we need a denotation or a connotation means a particular names like if there is a uh, something we uh, who, who is talking about the mental house and you just say how so that actually you are uh, creating a problem the person won't understand the the message uh, properly okay so when there is a need of the connotation to use try to use the connotation when there is a need of using the denotation try to use them because choosing connotation and denotation can uh, make the difference like you have to make uh, you have to choose it wisely you have to choose it correctly or you have to choose it properly because it can make a difference it and it makes a difference right Uh, there is another one the first one was all about the convention of meaning the second one is it's like the difference is in perception of reality now what is reality everything exist in this world is a reality you are students it's basically a reality and you have made this reality how by listening to the teachers so you have proposed a social role for yourself that you are students okay so this is a reality everything is a reality you talk and you speak and uh, you are here the existence everything is a reality okay so how you perceive those realities every idea is a reality how you perceive those knowledges and those uh, we can say ideas this perception is actually the receiving process or it is like the thinking process we can say that your mental filter is different and it is re it is dependent on the mental filter of the people filter kis cheez ko bolte hain ek chaan लेने वाली चीज ठीक है तो इफ समी इज टॉकिंग हाउ यू परसीव दैट आइडिया हाउ यू रिसीव इट हाउ यूर माइंड प्रोसेस ऑन दैट ठीक है इट्स लाइक हाउ यू थिंक ऑन दैट वेदर दैट इज अ पॉजिटिव वन और नेगेटिव वन दैट इज अ गुड वन दैट इज अ बैड वन दैट इज ट्रू और फॉल्स हाउ यू परसीव इट हाउ यू परसीव इट एंड हाउ यू थिंक एंड वट इज यूर मेंटल फिल्टर हाउ हाउ इट इज फिल्टरिंग द आइडिया ठीक है तो वो जो आपका मेंटल फिल्टर है इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अदर पीपल बिकॉज पीपल मे बिलोंग टू डिफरेंट कल्चर दे बिलोंग टू डिफरेंट बैकग्राउंड दे मे बी फ्रॉम डिफरेंट स्कूल और कॉलेजेस और डिपेंडिंग ऑन दो थिंग्स ठीक है इन चीजों पर डिपेंड करता है कि उनका परसेप्शन कैसे बना हुआ है उनका मेंटल फिल्टर कैसे बना हुआ है सो ऑल दो मेंटल फिल्टर आर एक्चुअली डिफरेंट different from uh, one another so depending on these differences how can we avoid those barriers or if we are having uh, we will talk about these avoidance that how can we avoid these barriers in this tendencies but how these differences create problem so when we say there is a difference there is always a problem okay and now what are those problems what are those problems ठीक है कैन एनीबडी टेल मी व्हाट आर दोस प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज व्हेन योर मेंटल फिल्टर इज डिफरेंट 
how it is it is different from other people ma'am Med men mental fitness yes down or uh, like uh, a place where they are not a uh, uh, good literacy so uh, his mental filter will be different from uh, a person who is in a city or in a modern place and their thoughts will be different the one, one will think in one way and the other will think in the other way hmm very good theek hai because um it depends on the culture it's it depends on their background as well now like uh, there are so many uh, examples of it whenever students from different areas when they come to university especially when they belong to villages when they come to universities they come with their different mental filters so gradually they work on their mental filters or especially this uh, culture that they they become indigenous to <coughs> university mein reh reh ke inka dimag thoda sa kharab ho jata hai bakol gaon walon ke ki ye to university gaye inka dimag thoda kharab ho gaya hai wo kharab nahi hota asal mein you become when you um Uh, when in Rome, um, जैसे वो एक कोट है मुझे भूल गया कि जिस तरह जहां पे जैसे लोग जिस तरह एक्ट करते उसी तरह एक्ट करो वो क्यों क्योंकि वो ग्रेजुअली आप चेंज होते हैं योर मेंटल फिल्टर चेंजेस हाँ विन एन रोम डू एज द रोम डू ठीक है तो <laughs> आपका मेंटल फिल्टर थोड़ा सा चेंज हो जाता है इट इज विद पैसेज ऑफ टाइम इट इज लिविंग विद पीपल एंड बींग इंडिजिनस टू द डिफरेंट कल्चर बींग इंडिजिनस टू अ डिफरेंट सोसाइटी एंड बींग इंडिजिनस टू डिफरेंट पीपल ठीक है मतलब आप उनके साथ लिविंग या रहना शुरू कर देते तो आप उनकी तरह हो जाते हैं वाई बिकॉज यूर मेंटल फिल्टर जो है आपका थोड़ा बहुत चेंज होना शुरू हो जाता है आपका थिंकिंग प्रोसेस थोड़ा सा चेंज हो जाता है एंड द वे यू रिसीव इट चेंजेस ठीक है तो तीन चीजें हैं दैट चेंजेस इन यू वन इज द एब्स्ट्रैक्शन एब्स्ट्रैक्शन द अदर इज द एनफेरेंस and the third one is the evaluation theek hai aap ek cheez ko evaluate karte hain theek hai it's uh, to a certain fact you uh, evaluate a thing you usko aap value dete hain theek hai aap apni opinion se aur apni perception se usko value dete hain abstraction is actually when you um, सेलेक्ट और रिजेक्ट थिंग्स तो आपके सेलेक्शन और रिजेक्शन ऑफ द थिंग्स में बी डिफरेंट यू सेलेक्ट वन थिंग एंड द अदर पर्सन रिजेक्ट इट ठीक है आपको एक आइडिया पसंद है दूसरे बंदे को वो आइडिया नहीं पसंद ठीक है सो विन दैट आइडिया समबडी इज डिस्कसिंग दैट आइडिया यूर परसेप्शन और रिसीविंग प्रोसेस वुड बी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द अदर वन हु इज लाइकिंग इट सो एब्सट्रेक्शन इज एक्चुअली द सेलेक्शन एंड रिजेक्शन ऑफ द थिंग्स So when you are omitting, uh, when you are selecting one thing or the other during the process of communication, you are and sitting with the person on the same bench who is a bench who is having a different mental filter, who is selecting one thing and you are rejecting that thing would bring blockages in the process of communication. Okay, so your selection of things or we can say omitting of things may be different. ये ये चीज बहुत उस पर करते हैं क्योंकि यू हैव टू रियलाइज द पीपल दैट विच कल्चर दे बिलोंग टू विच बैकग्राउंड दे बिलोंग टू यू हैव टू टॉक इन दैट टोन फर्स्ट यू ट्राई टू मेक देम रियलाइज के उनका जो आइडिया है वो भी ठीक है बट वट यू आर टॉकिंग इज इज अ गुड वन ठीक है तो फिर आहिस्ता आहिस्ता आप उनका एब्सट्रैक्शन चेंज कर सकते हैं दैट हाउ दे वुड सेलेक्ट एंड व्हाट दे वुड रिजेक्ट ठीक है 
कुछ लोगों का मेंटल फिल्टर जो है वो इतना uh, मतलब इंट्रेंसिक होता है दैट यू कैन नॉट चेंज इट इजीली यू विल हैव टू टेक टाइम इन ऑर्डर टू चेंज इट सो एक्चुअली द सिलेक्शन एंड रिजेक्शन प्रोसेस फॉर देम इज इज अ डिफरेंट वन आई शुड आई नीड टू नरेट अ स्टोरी देर वॉज अ पर्सन एंड लाइक वेन वेन पीपल गो फ्रॉम विलेजेस एंड दे स्टडी समवेयर द they see the places they see the people their dress code and everything that the first thing that they notice is the place the dress code of the people the people how they talk so when that thing is is persuasive for him or her uh he will actually feel happy over there lekin agar wo unka selection mein nahi hai ठीक है इफ ही इज नॉट हैविंग और शी इज नॉट हैविंग द माइंड और द मेंटल फिल्टर जो उनके सिलेक्शन में नहीं है ही विल ऑल ऑफ अ सडन कैंसिल हिज और हर एडमिशन ओवर देयर व्हाई बिकॉज दे डोंट लाइक द प्लेस दे डोंट लाइक द पीपल ठीक है सो इट्स इट्स एक्चुअली दो सिलेक्शन एंड रिजेक्शन ऑफ द थिंग्स एक आइडिया ऐसा है जो मुझे पसंद है लेकिन किसी और बंदे को नहीं है एंड वी आर हैविंग अ मीटिंग तो उस मीटिंग में वी कैन स्टार्ट अ फाइट बिकॉज आई सेलेक्ट वन थिंग एंड ही इज रिजेक्टेड इट इज रिजेक्टेड बाय अनदर पर्सन ठीक है तो ये सारा मीटिंग इसमें जो लोगों की लड़ाइयां होती है ये इस वजह से होती है क्योंकि उनका ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन चेंज होता है बिकॉज देयर मेंटल फिल्टर इज चेंज ठीक है एंड व्हेन यू आर एन एग्रेसिव पर्सन यू कैन नॉट इवन ट्राई टू थिंक ऑन इट ठीक है तो आपका थिंकिंग भी नहीं है सो देन यू स्टार्ट फाइटिंग and for instance is like when you um when 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 a situation is given to you and you conclude one thing it is basically the inference jab aap aap ek situation mein aapko put karte hain theek hai log so when you are put in any situation or drop in any situation you realize or you conclude something and then you try to do an action on those conclusion तो वो जो कंक्लूजन है एंड देन यू मेक अ डिसीजन तो जो आपका डिसीजन है इट इज बेस्ड ऑन योर कंक्लूजन और योर एनफरेंस ठीक है सो दैट एनफरेंस कैन बी अ डिफरेंट वन योर कंक्लूजन कैन बी अ डिफरेंट वन फ्रॉम द अदर पर्सन सम पीपल आर मेक एजम्पन्स एंड सम पीपल डू एक्शंस सम पीपल ट्राई टू रियलाइज इट द फ्रॉम द अंडरलाइनिंग्स और कुछ लोग बड़े सर्फिस से एक चीज को हासिल करते हैं ठीक है आ, कुछ लोग बड़ा रिस्की टाइम लेते हैं कुछ लोग जो है उनको बस आसानी चाहिए ठीक है सो आपका इन्फ्लुएंस जो है वो किधर लाई करता है दैट इज आल्सो अ डिफरेंट वन एंड इट कैन आल्सो लाइक इट इट ब्रिंग्स ब्लॉकेजेस इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन सो व्हेन यू रियलाइज एंड यू डिसाइड वन थिंग एंड अदर पर्सन डिसाइड एन अदर थिंग ठीक है तो इससे बहुत बढ़ती है ठीक है evaluation is like um when you value one thing you evaluate one thing and the other person evaluate another thing you might have heard about favoritism so when uh, there is like uh, say the example of uh, dropping a person into organization or unke interviews hoti hai to interviews mein agar ek banda baitha hua hai is the interviewer to usko wo favoritism karta hai wo relationship ko zyada value deta hai evaluate karta hai on the basis of his or her uh, we can say uh, relationship ek dusra banda hai jo is uh, giving credibility to the uh, we can say merit to wo evaluate karta hai ek cheez pe dusra evaluate karta hai dusri cheez pe theek hai so you see these evaluation can also be the the fact that we face hindrances or in the process of communication theek hai evaluation can be different you might have seen that when you write a report and you just put it in front of your supervisor or the concerned person or the higher authority they sometime reject it why because they say that they evaluate it on some other things you might have written uh, so many things lekin wo jo aapke liye evaluation uski theek hai lekin us unke mutabik wo theek nahi hai because he is evaluating it on some other basis to aapka jo base hai aapka jo reference hai it can be a different one theek hai so these are the three things that the person have differences in perception of 
तो आपका जो परसेप्शन है वो इस वजह से भी डिफरेंट होता है बिकॉज यूर एब्सट्रक्शन यूर एनफ्लुएंस और यूर एवोलेशन कैन बी अ डिफरेंट वन द सेम इज द केस विद द वेल्यूज विद द एटीट्यूड एंड विद द ओपिनियंस दीज थ्री थिंग्स आर एक्चुअली रिलेटेड टू द कल्चर आपके वेल्यूज क्या है उसूल क्या है एवेलुएशन और वेल्यूज में डिफरेंट है एवेलुएशन मीन्स दैट वेन यू ट्राई टू हैव अ कंक्लूजन ऑन समथिंग एंड यू एवेलुएट इट आप उसको मार्क्स uh, देते हैं आप उसको क्रेडिट देते हैं दैट इज कार्ड एवेलुएशन वेल्यूज आर बेसिकली जो प्रिंसिपल्स होते हैं हमारे सोसाइटी के सो आई एम आई बिलोंग टू अ डिफरेंट कल्चर आई विल केरी अ डिफरेंट वेल्यू इन माई माइंड फॉर डिफरेंट थिंग्स आई विल बी हैविंग अ डिफरेंट एटीट्यूड ठीक है क्योंकि मेरा एटीट्यूड तब बनता है टूवर्ड समथिंग कॉज इट इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द सोसाइटी आई एम लिविंग द कल्चर आई एम लिविंग और या फिर मेरा जो भी ओपिनियन बनता है इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द कल्चर दैट आई एम लिविंग द बैकग्राउंड दैट आई हैव ठीक है सो ये तीन चीजें बड़ा कल्चर से रिलेटेड है और सोसाइटी से रिलेटेड है सो यू माइट हैव नोटिस पीपल वेन दे गो अब्रॉड दे वेल यू वन थिंग दे हैव different uh, principles they have different attitudes towards things and they have different opinions so they got sick theek hai aur unko homesickness hoti hai sometimes they have culture shocks theek hai and uh, these culture shocks are that for more than 10 days or one month or two months they do not feel happy over there because they are having the culture shock they see that the attitude of the people are different towards something they have a different values and they have different opinions theek hai so that thing can bring blockages to the process of communication because when you have different principles and different attitudes towards things and different opinions it's actually the way more uh, <clears throat> greater hindrance to the process of communication so i hope it is clear for today ke aaj ke liye इतना ही काफी है कि आप सिर्फ ये ये विद इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ कम्युनिकेट कैन बी सो मेनी ब्लॉकेज ठीक है देर कैन बी सो मेनी ब्लॉकेजेस इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास व्हेन व्हेन आर ही आर वी हैविंग अ नेक्स्ट क्लास नेक्स्ट ट्यूसडे में नहीं ट्यूसडे नहीं है एक थर्सडे को भी हमारी क्लास होती है ना मैं चाह रही हूँ थर्सडे को भी क्लास ले लू आपने कहा था कि वीक में क्लास मैं इसलिए कह रही हूँ कि मैं आ, इस बात चाह रही हूँ कि इस दो क्लासेस ले लू थर्सडे को फिर थर्सडे को फिर क्लास है ठीक है सो so, uh, ये था हमारा ऑन बैरियर्स टू कम्युनिकेशन we'll be talking on um, some principles of communications which are the seven c's they are actually how to avoid these blockages of communication or hindrances okay so before coming to the class on thursday you must have read this uh, document taaki main puchu to aap logo ko kuch na kuch aata ho that what are linguistics or what are semantic barriers okay ye sare barriers aapne padhe honge i'll be asking you people in the next class which is on thursday so i hope it is clear it is clear for today yes ma'am yes ma'am purusha yes ma'am ma'am yes i am clear ma'am recording stop kar de